Yes, yes, don't go anywhere. Drawing is a skill that anyone can learn with practice and patience. In this guide, we'll take you through some exercises that will help you improve your drawing skills. Getting started. The first thing you need to do is to start drawing. It doesn't matter if you're using paper or digital tools, the exercise we're going to cover is valid for both. If you're drawing digitally, you'll be drawing within the size of your drawing pad. If you're drawing, uh, if you're using paper, you can draw on any paper you find. Professional papers come in variety of sizes, but for standard sizes, 35 by 50 is an ideal size, while 50 by 70 is a large size. Remember, the smaller or larger your paper, the more challenging it will be. There are different workouts for each size. Before we answer the common questions of can I learn drawing and can I draw well, it's crucial to begin with a hand workout. This exercise will help, help you improve your muscle memory and control. You will feel the effects of this exercise immediately. Start drawing slowly. Don't worry about what the line looks like. The important thing is to feel the resistance in your muscles. You'll feel some pain and tension, but that's normal. Massaging your arm will help relieve some of the tension. Once you've finished one page of slow back and forth lines, move on to the next page. Keep drawing slowly and take breaks if you need to. If you don't feel any tension or pain after the second page, you can move on to the next workout. After the hand training, we will move on to the object drawing. For now, I can say that you will be able to draw anything you see. You can draw anything you see in real life or in a photography. The trick is to transfer what you see onto paper. Objects can be either two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Start with a simple object, like a glass. Look at the glass from different angles and try to capture its shape and texture. Don't worry about making it look perfect. The goal is to get better with practice. We'll work on this in the next lesson. Continued practice. For now you need to focus on this workout and spread it out and spread it out over a few days. It's important to keep drawing regularly, don't take long breaks from drawing, or your coordination and perception will suffer. Remember, a line is made up of points that comes together. If you're curious about this topic, you can, you can research it. I will share the link in the description. There are two types of digital drawing pads. One type is a screen drawing pad, where you draw by looking at the area you've drawn. The other type is a non-screen drawing pad, where you draw while looking at the screen. It's up to the user's preference which type to use. I hope this helps and see you in the next lesson. Peace.